Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Seventh lecture. So uh, last week uh, we have done uh, this uh, human transfer and the bioelectric transfer. Now we go for the interplanetary transfer. So in the context of interplanetary transfer, it's important first to match the angle and time okay, for uh, departure from one planet and arrival to another planet. So, this exercise we do through first uh, doing one problem and thereafter uh, we will do the mathematics related to that, so that you can understand it better. So, let us start with the problem. two asteroids move in circular orbit or two circular heliocentric heliocentric means about the sun heliocentric coplanar orbit. So, two asteroids are moving about the sun heliocentric implies with the sun at the center with the following elements orbital radius this is given to in the astronomical unit this is the average distance between the sun and the earth 2 and 3.5 and uh, longitude one thirty nine and 271. This is measured with respect to the vernal equinox. So, the problem it states like this, uh, it is just a uh, artificial constru construction of one interplanetary problem. with greatest fuel economy. This is important. So, find his first available time for 
departure this is to be determined in terms of in days from the given effort and the problem when b is when he arrives at b he finds that he has missed his giga counter on a decides to go back then what is his then what is the minimum waiting time on b will equal nomi condition so neglect starts gravitational field this is a nice problem which uh, correctly reflects the basic concepts involved in interplanetary transfer and therefore we first do this problem So, so angles are given let us say this is the vernal equinox and with respect to this then the asteroid a and b this positions are given so this is asteroid a okay we correctly represent the true value this is asteroid a which longitude is given to be 139 degree so we go up to 139 degree so this point is here and asteroid b position is given to be 271 degree So measuring from here, asteroid B's position is 271, means somewhere here. Oh, 100. This is still less. 270 will come somewhere 90, 90, and 270. So somewhere here it will come. So this is 270 degree. So from this point. This measured angle is two seventy degree. This is the position of B. An epoch is given. Uh, so, with uh, on that epoch, with respect to this vernal equinox, where it's a line, so uh, this is given to you. Now, what is to be decided that? Uh, what is the time when uh, this uh, he can launch his spaceship from asteroid a and go to asteroid b okay. so let us say that he has to wait till and go till b prime before the launch can take place 
So, during this time, this is the wait time before the launch can be done. So, T w and if n 2 or theta 2 is the uh, omega 2, let, let us write this as the omega 2. W indicates here T w, this is the wait time. He has to wait before the launch can be done. So, this is T w and uh, multiplied by omega b or omega 2, this indicates the whole angle from b to. So, if I write here o, so b prime o b equal to T w times omega b. It is a circular orbit. Okay, so, angular velocity does not change. And the asteroid A is here. Okay, so the launching has to be done such that see uh, the most important part is here that uh, we have to match the angle. So, uh, let me write here and then I will make the figure thereafter. So, what is required that theta a, this is the epoch angle, this is theta a, this equal to theta a, theta a plus delta theta, delta theta a. So, this is related to your wait time. In the first question, if you look here, find the first available time when that time will be available. So, this is a measure of time, this angle. And thereafter, so somewhere this is your uh, A is located and it has to wait for some certain time and thereafter then the launch is done. So, that the satellite, uh, the spaceship goes from that place and it arrives here to B. So, B is already here. Okay. So, say wait time is from this place to this place is measured in terms of delta theta a. And then the spaceship is launched which will move from this place, okay, the home and transfer and it will go to B. And let us say that t is the time of transfer. So, t is nothing but t 1 by 2, the half period for the elliptic transfer, the home and transfer. So, this angle is your theta a, this is theta a shown by green, okay, plus delta theta a, which I have written here, okay. and then from here. So, here this angle is pi, okay. this shown by green, this is pi, just opposite of this, okay. it is arriving here. This you are launching, so in the home and transfer, the angle is making it say uh, 180 degree. So, we write here in terms of 180 degree plus uh, times pi by 180, we turn change it to radians or everything we can change into radians and uh, then work it out. And this must be equal to theta v is already given to you. So, the theta v is the angle from uh, we have shown somewhere this is 270 degree, this is theta b. So, this must be equal to theta b okay. and thereafter, so uh, from this place to this place, this is your theta b. So, uh, during the wait time and uh, uh, we should do one correction here, during the wait time, so already the b is positioned here, 2270. And thereafter, the wait time is there. So, wait time will go up to say this place 
this is the getting time and thereafter this is the time in which t times uh, t times theta to omega 2. So, uh, this will cover this much of angle. So, in the transfer time this is the transfer time t from this place to this place. So, in the same time this will go from b will come to this place. So, we should write here b prime and this has the b double prime. So, this happens to be the wait time and this is the transfer time. Here also from if you look from this place to this place. So, this is the wait time t and uh, t w and this is the transfer time. So, this is what we have been trying to write here. So, this delta theta plus angle from this place to this place let us write this as delta theta b. Okay, so, here let us make one adjustment we simply write here 180 degree and then we will convert this into the um, radians. So, theta a is given to be 139 degree and delta theta a this is not known to us okay, because this is related to the wait time okay, plus 180 degree. times y y 180 this gives you angles in radians. So, this will be theta b theta b is also known to us therefore, we can move it on the left hand side which is 271 the angle is 271 degree so, this is 271 degree. So, all these are in radians then and this equal to theta delta theta b minus delta theta b. So, this is angle matching. So, from here we can write delta theta b if we insert uh, all these values. So, we can write delta theta b equal to delta theta a plus 0 0.837758. This is equation 1, this is equation 2. And we can check this also 139 plus 180. 9 minus 271, 271. So, this is 8 and so, this is 48 degree, 48 times pi divided by 180. So, if we divide it, I am doing the calculation 48 times 3.14 divided by 180. This is 0 0.8373, it comes like this, but uh, actually, if you do the uh, it on calculator, so this result is better. So, it comes around this value. Then the first part we have written here A angle matching and then the time matching. See the concept has to be understood properly that initially your satellite is at A, another satellite is at uh, asteroid is at B and the person sitting on A has to go to B. Okay. But for human transfer what is required this is the 
economic transfer because if you look here look back here in this place orbital radius is given to be r f by r i this equal to 3.5 divided by 2 is equal to 1.75. So, okay, already we have looked that for 11 point uh, uh, n this is the quantity n. So, n less than 11.94 human transfer is the best. So, here the fuel economy transfer is the human transfer, but to go to B it is required that at the time of launch the space ship should be just opposite of this. So, that means the person sitting on the asteroid the astronomer he has to wait for T w time and by that time A up arrives here in this A prime okay. and then the launch is done. Once the launch is done then during this time t a will uh, the space ship will arrive at b and uh, b which was here so it goes to b prime in that time in the wet time okay and thereafter again from here it takes off uh, from here the uh, asteroid b it goes to b double prime okay in the other which is the flying time t. So, in that time this is covering t times omega 2 distance or omega 2 instead of writing omega 2 we are writing omega b. Similarly, a prime we have got here. So, in this flying time t the a will reach to another point which we can write here as a double prime. So, all the angles I cannot show here because it then gets clumsy. Okay. So, th this is the process we have followed here. Okay. So, first angle matching and then the time matching. Now, it comes to time matching. So, in the time matching this you see here this is the delta theta a. So, delta theta a by omega a this is the wet time. Okay. T weight is delta theta a divided by w a. So, first this is the waiting time and then plus the flying time to b from a prime to b double prime okay. and this will be half of the period. So, this period will be period is written as 2 pi a q by mu under root. So, here in this case a is r 1 plus r 2 divided by 2 or r a plus r b divided by 2. So, r a is 2 and r b is 3.5 divided by 2. So, this is 5.5 divided by 2 means 2.75. So, the astronomical distance is 2.75 r. So, pi times 2.75 r in terms of astronomical distance by mu a q by mu under root. So, this happens to the wait time waiting time t w and this is your t and what this must be equal to we have to balance the equation. So, from here to here from this place to this place this total angle we are writing as delta theta b as we have written here. So, this will be equal to delta theta b divided by because b is here then it goes to b prime and then comes to here. Okay, so, delta theta b by omega b. This is your third equation. Now, r is known to us mu is known to us because here the this in this case mu will refer to mu sun and r is known this is the mean distance of the sun from the earth which is one astronomical unit. So, therefore, we can solve it. So, 1, 2 and 3 these are the two equations we have got.
insert equation 2 into equation 3. So, that gives us delta theta a by omega a plus pi by pi times 2.75 r whole cube divided by mu. So, uh, on the right hand side delta theta b is there. So, this delta theta b we replace with this. So, delta theta b equal to delta theta a plus delta theta a plus 0.837758 divided by omega b. So, delta theta b divided by omega b. So, this is the quantity we are getting here. Then we separate out delta theta a divided by delta theta b and omega a this quantity omega a minus delta theta b divided by omega b. Omega a omega b it is known to us. Now, uh, this is delta theta a, we have, we have taken delta theta a from this side. So, delta theta a by omega we take, take it outside. So, this becomes omega theta a divided by omega theta b uh, 0 0.837758 divided by omega a by omega b this is known to us omega a will be mu times r a which is the radius of the inner orbit and r b equal to mu by omega b equal to mu by r b under root and therefore, omega a by omega b this quantity will be r b by r a under root. And R b here in this case this is uh, 3.5 and R a is 2. So, 1.75 and this quantity is 1.75 under root. And this is bound to happen because the omega this will come negative because omega is larger than omega b. and rest on the right hand side we have uh, all the things. So, if we insert omega a and omega b on both the sides we can work it out. Okay, so, uh, at this stage itself if we multiply on both sides by omega a and then try to simplify using this omega equation here. This can also be done and also we can do using by evaluating all these quantities. So, I will do the rest thing we have to copy here in this place. I will do by evaluating all the quantities here. So, omega a equal to mu by r under root. So, this is 2 uh, r under root and the quantity mu is 1.32715 into 10 to the power 11 
0.32715 into 10 to the power 11 kilometer cubic per second square. And the astronomical distance is so 1.49596 into 10 to the power 8 kilometer. Uh, here, uh, here see, uh, we, uh, actually here what we have written, this is the V A, this is V A, V B, uh, this is not directly omega A, omega V, this somewhere, I just forgot to uh, write here properly. So, this is your V A, V A by V B. V A by V B. This earlier we have used mu by R A and omega is related by. So, T equation we know this is the equation for T is mu 2 pi by mu by uh, A Q by mu under root and 2 pi by T this is your omega which is mu by A Q under root. So, we have to follow this principle here. So, uh, this is not proper to write here 1.75 here in this place, but anyway because omega a this is larger than the omega b. So, this quantity is going to be the in the bracket this is going to be negative. So, therefore, we evaluate uh, omega first. So, evaluating omega here mu by 2 r cube. Okay. So, this is whole cube. And if this quantity is evaluated, this turns out to be 7.0393902 into 10 to the power minus 8 radian per second, very small angular velocity. Similarly, omega b can be evaluated, this will be mu by 3.5 r whole cube under root. So, we insert the value for the mu and the r, r is as usual this quantity, this is in kilometers. So, this turns out to be 3.0407308. You can check the calculation yourself. So, this gives us omega A and omega B. Moreover, the quantity we also need this quantity. So, this quantity 0.8377. 5 8 divided by omega b this will be 5 and what this quantity is here If you go back here in this place, if you look into this. So, this is subtraction of all the angles and this is already converted into radians. So, angle divided by omega that gives you T. So, this quantity is in second, this is in second. Okay. Similarly, we have this quantity it is required here. So, pi times 2.75 r whole cube divided by mu under root. So, r mu it is known to us if we insert all these values this comes out to be 71956. 309 seconds. Okay, so, with all this information, we are ready to go back to equation. Uh, let us name this as 
till this is 3, so we will name this as 4. So, from equation 4, delta theta a divided by omega a times 1 minus omega b by omega omega a by omega b. So, omega is larger 7.039390. And 10 to the power minus 8 is present in both the places, so that we just remove 308 and then this quantity minus this quantity. So, this quantity already we have written here 2755106 minus. 7195630 and divided by oh, there is no division just this much so this quantity so the right hand side this turns out to be this equal to minus 4440510 So, from this place then we arrive, arrive at delta theta a by omega a. So, this is your waiting time T w waiting time on A. So, this quantity after equating it, you will get this as T w T wait time on A and we put here a wait time on A. We will tag this as wait time on A. Okay, so, this quantity turns out to be 3376337630 seconds. Because here you can see that it is a more than twice, this quantity here in this division, this is more than twice. So, here it comes greater than 1 with negative sign and therefore, you get here 3 3 like this. Okay. So, this is the wait time on A and if we convert this into days, so this will be equal to 390.8253 days. That means, uh, before the launch can be done from the asteroid A, the astronomer has to wait for 390.8253 days on asteroid A. Okay, so, so, we stop here and the rest of the part of this lecture we will do in the next one. Thank you very much.